Each year, the MacArthur Foundation awards a $625,000 no-strings-attached grant to individuals who they consider to have extraordinary originality, creativity, and passion for their work. And this year's list has just been announced. One of the winners is Okwi Okpukwasili. She's a performer and a writer from New York, and her 2014 performance called Bronx Gothic was hailed as a tour de force by The New Yorker and mesmerizing by The New York Times. Don't look at nobody. Don't talk to nobody. Don't breathe. All right, genius. Nice to have you. <laughs> oh, is, it, is it hard? Is it hard? Oh with my the gosh, genius? yeah, that is really, really hard. It's, <laughs> usually, when I introduce myself or people talk to me, they say, Hi, Okui. They don't say genius. Yeah, yeah it's listen, a bit... now that you're a winner, you <laughs> should you... literally lead with, Hey, I'm genius. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Bronx Gothic. Um, what was the the overriding message that you were hoping to share with your audience. Yeah, I think um, for me, Bronx Gothic was about a woman in a kind of turmoil. Um, even there's a first movement that's called The Quake, and it's about this, you know, basically she's quaking and she can't stop shaking, right? And it's the turmoil and the tremors of having dealt with uh, sexual violence in her past. How do you reconcile that kind of wound with the attempt to form a self, right, that that isn't always in pain or, or you know, I mean, so. When well, Connie Chung wrote the, her, her, her article, amazing. right, about her sexual assault 50 years ago, I mean, I really, yeah. you got the sense of that, of that quake. I mean, right. she's really literally describing this quake she's been living with for 50 years. It was, right. you and this at And an attempt to sort of, how do I form a person that isn't only solely um, shaped around this right. quake, around this wound? Right, so it, it seems as if you have to almost separate. You have to make another conscious. You have to make another um, another human, another individual, um, and then. But there is that. There's still some kind of bridge back to that wound, and it's gonna. Do you know what I mean? I feel like there's that tremor is going to return. And then right? people end up confessing it all these years later, right. because they were always trying to sort of not tell anybody their secret. You tackle all the big issues. I mean, all the, you know, what I'd like to call the third rail issues. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a clip from, from the documentary uh, Bronx Gothic where you talk about the killing of African Americans. And, and I want to play a, a short okay. clip of that. This is like, this is, a, this is a, like an ontological crisis. Do I even exist? if that existence can be erased without any kind of acknowledgement. What was the point you're trying to make in, in that movement? Well, I think there's the idea of pain, right? I think um, there have been studies where people have shown that um, people, mm, the perception of black people having pain, that, they, that there is a belief that black people do not experience pain to the, um, with the depth or to the extent that non-black people do. Do you sometimes think maybe you're preaching to the choir, though? I mean, these are yeah. the big, uncomfortable conversations that I think America needs to have. Right, right. And yet, in the audience, I would guess that that's the choir, if yeah. you're the preacher. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's true. The people that come to see downtown you know, performance work in New York are definitely a progressive, and I think generally open people. Um, but. Uh, you know, may, maybe I am. I hope it's not preaching, I guess. You know, I hope it's making space for an experience, a shared experience. Is the but goal it's to true. take the, mes the, the message farther? I mean, that it, it, it will the MacArthur grant and uh, and the other grant that you, you won as well. Yeah, uh, which has moved Duke. you into yeah, a whole there's new, a new tax bracket. Congratulations. Oh my God. Is that money and that support going to help you say, now let's move this out of this audience in downtown and, and bring it across the country where other audiences might have access to right. it. What will you, what's what will the I plan? Do? Yeah, what yeah. are you thinking what's about? What's the plan? Yeah, is, oh there, is there a big thing that you're gonna tackle? This is a five-year grant. It is a five-year grant. Do you grant. have a plan for what you wanna it's tackle? It's supposed to be unrestricted. I'm supposed to use it to maybe just like sit down and have a do vacation. Do whatever you want, right. And by the way, <laughs> kind of a great idea. You've been busy. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm in the middle of several projects right now, and so I'm, I do hope that that helps get those off, off the ground, you know. Um, just, I don't know, I, you know, it's, it's so unreal, it actually hasn't, I, I mean, I've gotten a financial planner. <laughs> 
So, so they can maybe it's getting very help. real, very fast. <laughs> so they can help me figure it out. Next time we see you on the show, you'll be handing out business cards. I know, I, Genius! I, I, hey, I how are you? <laughs> I love it. Congratulations to you. It's amazing. And Thank and you. I, you know, a lot of the work that we try to do is to uplift kind of the under told and, and marginalized stories, which right. is why I just love the work that you do. It's amazing. Thank so, you. So Thank congrats. You. If you need any help spending the money. I know. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>